in three, two. It's Sunday, March 8th, 2020. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Don't hurt nobody with your bad self. And welcome to Comes Out Loud, the Bear Podcast with Indeterminate Links, episode number 545. And you know, it's been like two years. Okay. And boom. I'm not sure that, 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 that's that was that was my version of uh, the uh, uh, segue passing to uh, uh, the, the hostess with the most uh, uh, Mr. Blurred Background Gary. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Woo. Just for the warning of y'all, of y'all out there, I am not functional today, and I'm blaming it on the time change. <laughs> And for the rest of the world who doesn't know what the hell we're talking about, the United States is just backwards. So it's not just the United States. Well, well, we we sprung forward, right? So I'm blaming. And, and keep on, in mind, losing an hour. There's a quarter of Arizona, not all of Arizona, but a quarter of Arizona that switches time zones, but they don't change the time. Okay. They, they, they don't do daylight savings time, so whenever that happens, they switch time zones. Okay. They go from, right. from, I follow that from part, mountain Pacific, then, Pacific to mountain. Right, but then you said that they don't change their time. Yeah, they end up being in a different time zone. Oh, I think I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because I was like, if you change your time zone, you still change your time. Like You still go backwards or forwards an hour. But no, you no everybody else did that, which caused them to be in a different time zone. <laughs> Got it. Which makes perfect sense now because my part-time job, former full-time job, the headquarters are in that thing, in that, that wonky space, because part of the year they are in Mountain, part of the year they are in Pacific. And it blew everybody's brains like when we were first like starting with this client and everybody was like, wait, what time of year is it? Because they're either off by this many hours or this many hours. And everybody was like, huh? Because we were all like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> and, and, and of course, like, no. <laughs> and, and of course, the 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 we're, we're calling it daylight saving time. And it is saving, not savings. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah. Anyways, um, but we're not really saving any daylight. We still have the same amount of daylight. It it, it kind of doesn't make it uh, any sense. It just moves but, it. Yeah, we just we just need to get like just get rid of it. We, we we need to just like from now on. We just stay at this time. Then fine, perfectly okay. <laughs> uh, I I I don't think we need daylight saving time anymore. But mm. anyways. Yeah. That's a, that was that was a digression. Okay. Anyways, moving on. All right. So uh hey y'all. It's been two years since we launched our Patreon. Woo! Yay! Love you, Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we decided that it was time to like kind of go over and look at what we had in the past uh, two years and then make an update or two. Um, mm -hmm. So when to give everyone a little bit of background in case y'all is new and you didn't know. And I actually look back. I, I'm surprised we didn't actually do a Patreon announcement episode, which seems very weird. Yeah. Like I think we, we just mentioned it on an episode. Well, we mentioned it on a lot of episodes. For like, I mean, we mentioned it on every episode. Well, for like nine months, Trust. though, I think it was one of the things that we let in with. <laughs> uh oh, 
and then we and then we rearranged and changed like how we talk about it, which I'll get to that later. But anyways, um, for a couple of years prior to launching uh, using the Patreon platform, there had been internal discussion like how are we going to do about like covering costs and stuff because for let's see, it's been twelve years now, and we've been doing this for two years. So for basically the first ten years, Jeff paid out of pocket ever all mm-hmm. the time uh, for like hosting the server space, the domain uh, costs, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and it was like, and it was known that we were going to have to do some system upgrade, like in terms of like hardware, uh, possibly software, things along those lines. Mm-hmm. So it was, you know, how are we going to get some money in? Because uh, while Jeff is not a charity, he has been very charitable for a very, very, very long time. And I think so, I'm, I'm the one who makes the least amount of money of the three of us. Now, possibly. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, just calling it out. Um, Come on, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> throwing that <laughs> super I'm just bullshit. come on <laughs> I, I'm just spilling the tea the like well fuck you dude <laughs> well, well I'm just gonna sit here and sip my tea well you know uh to be fair out of the bunch of us uh I was unemployed for over a year yeah, so like there's that and that a lot has happened in the happen. course of in the course of the podcast over 12 years um mm. we've aged uh, yes, we are Cubs out loud. We are all older Cubs. <laughs> some of us are, some of us have gone from being Cubs to Bear Cubs to, uh, Daddy Cubs. <laughs> so, by the time it's done, we'll like be probably Granddaddy Daddy Cubs. Cub, What's that? That's really cute. I like the term Daddy Cub. Oh, I've that been a Daddy a- Cub or two in my time. Try uh-huh. I think I have too. I've I've had Kinda fun cute. with the dating cup too, so there's nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah. So speaking of which, total segue sidebar. Um, <laughs> I had no because it's just popped in my head and I want to talk about it. I had a really wild like uh, sexual dream last night. Like because it just it just got triggered by talking about daddy cubs. Uh, yeah, like with a couple I've never met. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay, so mm. something something's mm. going on in my brain. I don't know what, but <laughs> that was maybe thing. a portrait of things to come. Uh, <laughs> one, 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 <laughs> maybe. Uh, oh, yeah. Says, uh, yes, Daddy. Fan self. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so in the in the course of the two years since we launched uh, our Patreon campaign, and let me backtrack a little bit for those of you that don't know what Patreon is for some reason, and you've only kind of heard us talk about it maybe at the end of the show. Um, Patreon is a platform where you can become a supporter of a uh, entity, a person, um, you know, a, a, it's usually on a creative artistic endeavor. And so uh, a fair creators. number of podcasts. There you go. Content creators. Um, you can support them financially. And there's a bunch of different ways that it can be done. And we've chosen the platform where it's done on a monthly basis. And anywhere from a dollar and up per month, you can donate. And then there's costs and fees that come into that, you know, and we get a portion of that that comes through to us. Um, and then Jeff can utilize that for different costs and stuff. And we've actually done a couple of things over the years. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, I was just looking to see what our like cumulative co- total has been over that time. And it's, it's a decent amount, but we've also done some uh, reward payouts because that's the other part of Patreon is it's not just like, hey, great that you gave us some money. Thank you so much. We love you forever. Um, we also will do some uh, stuff. So in and the past, Patreons will do that. Yeah. You know, we'll provide rewards of some kind. So in the past couple of years, we've done uh, stickers um, that we've sent out to people um, as well as we've done shirts, um, which is one of the things I kind of wanted to talk about. Like in the second year, we didn't um, quite do the stuff that we were expecting to, because honestly, like time and things got away from us. And, mm-hmm. 
we also sent out an email to or a message to all the patrons, the current patrons, and we're like, hey, like, what is it that you guys are looking for? We're looking to make some changes, you know. And surprisingly, the majority of people replied back and were like, I just like donating. Like, I don't really need a thing. Yeah. Okay, but still, like, <laughs> mm-hmm. we want to give back. We we want to show yeah. show our appreciation in some ways. Really, yeah, right. And so we didn't really build it that way. Um, so knowing that we were coming up on the two year anniversary because we started it uh, back in. Let me go back. Uh, in April of 2018 was the first month yeah. that we collected funds. So this is yeah. like March gets us. Uh, for the for the 12 mm-hmm. so that being said um we wanted to make a couple of uh, change-ups i wanted to go back uh, real quick i realize i'm jumping around so one of the big things that did happen in the course mm-hmm. of the two years was we did buy some new equipment stuff um so uh we got a couple of like camera upgrades some headset yep. upgrades and uh jeff's pooter died last year <laughs> yeah as, as predicted <laughs> <laughs> we saw it coming yeah yeah so luckily very very uh blessedly thanks to all of the patrons we had uh the money available for him to take uh that and utilize it and, be able to yeah. them. And, mm-hmm. and, and to be accountable there there uh at the time there wasn't enough funds for every single thing um, it did also happen that in addition to the computer, my monitor had also died, but there has, there wasn't enough funds to cover the monitor. And because I basically replaced practically everything with the new computer, except for power supply and the original hard drive, um, uh, the, I actually had to repurchase Windows 10. So there mm-hmm. was, there was a couple of expenses that I, uh, I still had to pay out of pocket. Mm-hmm. Uh, for it, but it was just because of the numbers, what we had already given for rewards, what we need to hold up for uh, additional mm-hmm. ones yeah. to make sure that that we were committing to our promises. Um, so, but so. there was this still a significant amount of funds that were used to uh, uh, take care of those computers. Uh, in the end, it was yeah. still less than. I built I re I built this thing for still less than a thousand bucks. So Right. Nice. And like for me, like obviously I've got the headset and the the wonderful camera that you're using to see my wonderful H D camera that I'm using to for you to see <laughs> this beauty right here. So so thank you all so much because that definitely helps. So I think at the in the past was I using my I wasn't. Using, yes, I was. I was using my web camera, my like computer laptop like camera. So yeah, <laughs> thank you. And we we kind of got into this habit of like once one person got an upgrade on a thing that we try to like spread the love about that uh, so that it was a little bit more fair. So um, yeah, so like that's an example of how the funds that have come in over the past couple of years have given us some upgrades. And we know that we've got a couple of uh, reward items that we need to address, and we'll get to that um, here in this month and make sure that uh, before we make the changes that'll go into effect in April, that that's taken care of. We're not mm-hmm. making big changes um, in terms of the things. We just wanted to kind of rearrange a little bit. Yeah. So. Uh, to give everyone kind of a precursor, we're going to remove one of the levels. Everybody that's a current patron, it's okay. You will not be affected. Yeah. Um, so we're going to like do a little bit of a shuffle and a rename, but basically we're going to end up with three tiers instead of four. Mm-hmm. Um, the $2 tier will be uh, basically going away. Uh, so we'll end up with a $1, a $5, and a $10 um, as the reward level kind of tiers, as we say. Nice. And then um, it'll be a little bit easier. Like, we created a two, and it's kind of funny looking back. I was like, I'm not really sure why we did two at all. <laughs> other, than, other than, to, I guess, to have something different um, in that case. But so, and then from there, we will, uh, you know go forward and and recognize the the different stuff that's going to happen so just as an example for people to know what's going to be in the future so you're going to have a buddy level 
which will be the one dollar a month, uh, and then you're going to be listed on our col.com uh, supporter page, which we currently still have uh, available. You end up getting thanked once a year uh, verbally in an episode, usually because you join us and become a patron. Uh, then you get listed visually in what we call an end card in our YouTube video. So when we do our once a month uh, what's going on, Jeff puts that up uh, in the video at that point. And then you're going to get a bumper sticker, window decal, or a vinyl sticker of some sort with our logo on it. So you can show people how much you love Cubs Out Loud. Yay! Um, <laughs> oh, and then Bird and, has a, a good question in the live chat. Go ahead, Jeff. Sorry. Also keep in mind, uh, uh, this is the levels are minimums. So mm -hmm. if you want to do like four dollars, you would be at the, still be at the buddy level, but you'd be giving four dollars and so just one. So you don't have to be. So it's like a more of a minimum sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. When you hit five, you move up to the next tier. But if you want to give six, seven, eight, nine, that's all under the bear and uh, ten and up um, mm -hmm. and would would be that uh, for the uh, highest tier. So. It's, it is a minimum, so just because we have specific amounts doesn't mean you can only pay that specific amount. Yeah. You can you can do yeah. whatever you want in between. If you are being very, very generous and want to give us like $20, $30, $50 a month, we will gladly accept that. I could actually pay these two for coming <laughs> on to the show. Taking the time out of their day and and working their Sundays around my stupid work schedule. Stupid ass work schedule. Uh, I mean that. I mean that's kind of goals that we would want to get <laughs> really up there, but you know. Okay. Um, I'm looking up the answer to Birdie's question in the live chat. Uh... I mean, the only thing would be to uh, just send us something through uh paypal but let me see I, I would have to i have to refigure that up again um all right so this is the answer that i thought um so that birdie knows the platform isn't built on like a a one-time allotment but that doesn't mean you can't do it so like the FAQs explain on the website for them, while well, one-time payments are a great idea, the idea was about building a membership-style platform. So if a person wanted to make a one-time membership like or allotment, they can. So what they would do is they would become a subscriber, and then once the one-time payment is done, they would just basically cancel their membership. Mm -hmm. um, and you could fluctuate a change. Like People have done that over time. So like they gave a certain amount, and then they were like, oh, my finances changed, so let me take it down or take it up. Um, you know, along those kind of lines, or if you really didn't want to, you know, go through the establishment of a membership through Patreon, then you could, as Jeff said, contact us and, uh, ask for our PayPal information mm -hmm. and we should be able to give you a, a link to send us some money that way. Um, yeah. And that's, that's another possibility. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank Bert. you, Bertie. Mm -hmm. yeah. Otherwise, if you didn't want to go through Patreon, uh, I might be able to see about setting up a, a PayPal link on the website or something. That might be an idea. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually looking real quick to see if we have... Uh, I think I had that at one time, but I don't remember what I did with it. There was at one point in time a, a little, sub, like not subscribe, but a donate button on the page... If I remember correctly, um, actually, it's still there. Is it? It is. I think, or maybe <laughs> it doesn't work. We, We're going to find we out know. here in a second. We, we know. Yeah, we know our yeah. website oh, I do. so well. Yeah, yeah, it's still there. Yeah, if you go to comesoutloud.com, the 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 right sidebar, there's the patron link to our our Patreon, as well as a link to donate through or donate through PayPal. So. Mm -hmm. So right underneath it, believe... so you can either become a patron or you can donate. I'm gonna have to... And then there's also this. I'm gonna double check it because it should be good. It is connected to, yeah, it is technically connected to your um, directly to you, Jeff. Yeah. Okay. yeah. 
Uh, well, so I'll we'll have to, to see about switching that over. Well, I think I have a, a, a resolution for that here in just a moment. Give me like, uh oh, because uh, let me go to the thing. We'll go to that one. All right, because we can actually create what's called a PayPal dot me. Mm. Create a memorable link. It's available. Bing and bing and <laughs> done. So, um, that was super easy. Like I thought it would be. That was, yeah. So share your, go here. Yeah. So all you have to type in is PayPal dot M E as in PayPal dot me slash comes out loud. And then you can send us money that way. That's got our little like comes out loud logo so you know that it's us and not just like some other random thing in that case i knew that that thing existed i wasn't sure if we'd set one up yet or not so ta-da see what happens at a live show you can request things that we can just magically like kind of work on making it happen maybe if it's available to us okay i'll get that on, uh, get that on the site paypal.me slash comes out loud mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Something to add to our thing at the end of the show. <laughs> Maybe. Yay. Yeah. But so. also, we would, I mean, we do, um, I would say, if you can subscribe and become a patron and provide monthly donations, that does, you know, are sustaining, sustaining donations. Um, if you, if you watch, or listen to like PBS or um, not PBS. Well, PBS are NPR mm-hmm. one of those things where they have all those, those stations. They, do the um, they usually, yeah, those donation drives that you hear about constantly. Um, they do have like they love sustaining memberships and donations because they do help in the long run because you know that money is fairly consistent and um, that is a very that is very much appreciated. So, patron, if you're able to sustain a donation of you know we have the tiers and if you want to give more you can if you know we appreciate that too but um it does help because we do like i think we've talked about it gary like that's it does help us in the long run as we kind of make plans for things right and like i mean we also just so everybody's aware like we also have some goals uh that we established as part of you know being with patreon um you know, that we, if we get to monthly amounts of how much comes in as far as the, the campaign, quote unquote, in terms of uh, people that are subscribing and being members through Patreon, then there are certain things. Like, for example, the first one is $50. If we get $50 a month, then we create what's called a bi-monthly hangout, where it's a private online event where us, the hosts, and just the patrons um, would get together. So we would do uh, basically a live private youtube show that the public would not get to see so hint hint um if we got to like a hundred dollars a month uh we would do a monthly random raffle where we would put all of our patrons names into a virtual or proverbial hat and draw someone's name and then they would get a free piece of comes out loud merchandise um in fact we described it as so random even the options are random except for size of clothing uh obviously (laughs) That would be awkward. Yeah, you get so a t-shirt. Get a shirt. And it's a small. And rolling size. It is a small. <laughs> yeah. Rock. Although I'd probably, if I did something like that, I'd probably limit it to like large and larger. <laughs> yeah, it will depend. Medium and larger? I don't know. I would not yeah. go small. I don't think it, uh, considering what? the community we're a part of, right. small is few and far between. Yeah. And then we continued from there. So uh, if you if we hit a two hundred dollar a month goal, we were going to double the raffles. We'd do two two raffles for each month. Uh, if we got to three hundred dollars, we we're going to do equipment upgrades. Um, what that means is that like each of the hosts that would definitively be able to get new stuff. Like we've done some stuff as necessary, but this would be definitive. Like make sure that everybody gets uh, things that we need. Uh, and then from there, it goes on like $500 uh, as a monthly goal. We would uh, do four raffles 
Um, we would do one raffle every single week for patrons. If we got to a thousand dollars a month, uh, we were to do a host travel show. So Jeff would actually travel and meet us up in the north. Um, I would actually be able to meet Damon finally. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, if we got to twenty five hundred dollars as a monthly goal, then all the hosts would travel together somewhere <laughs> and do a real OTR. Uh, and then the highest goal. And, and keep in mind, like these are sort of like fun. Um, we're not necessarily expecting it to happen, but we'll be very happy if it does. And then the top goal was if we hit a five thousand dollar goal uh, for the month, then Daddy Hadrian would do a live OTR and he would travel to meet up with us, and all the four of us would be in the same room together. And shenanigans so. would ensue. Oh, I don't know about that, but I said shenanigans. <laughs> I didn't specifically say sexy time. I just said shenanigans. <laughs> David just walked back into that and was like, wait, what? what? <laughs> I was talking about the monthly goals and how the top one is if we hit a five thousand dollar monthly goal that we would do a daddy Hadrian live show. Oh that, yes. Oh. Be together. And it would probably have to be sustained for a couple months just to, because we would have to like make the arrangements once we hit that. So um, yeah. it's it's not as soon as we get that first five thousand dollars, we're going to do the show uh, only because we, we would have to figure out like when, where and such. And then if it would be weird if after a certain amount of time all of a sudden it goes below it and then it's like oh we're gonna have to cancel because we're not up there anymore (laughs) and it would be weird so do keep in mind any of these larger goals we'd have to maintain it for at least a couple months in order for us to make arrangements in order to actually well we have to do that we have to actually get the funds like that's the the key pieces you know it can't be like, oh, look, like we've got enough commitments for, you know, a thousand dollars and then, you know, it doesn't really pan out. That's one of the things that folks may not realize is that. The, so the Patreon platform is really good about like it attempts on the very first of each month to collect the funds from whatever you set up as, as a patron for membership. So if you put in, you know, like a, a credit card or a debit card, whatever you use as your financial um, established connection for the patronage. It starts on the first of the month to attempt to collect the funds. And if it declines, then it will try again, I think, two or three more times within the first week um, Uh to collect it. And then it will stop. So, And that's just par for the course. It's kind of natural, understandable. Like your card might expire. Um, You know, something may have happened or whatever. You know, and some people have contacted us and been like, hey, sorry, like I, you know, switched accounts or whatever. Yeah. Uh Yeah. you know, it's one of the the things. So it's not a it's not a guarantee. Like on the first of the month, boom, you get the money. We actually normally get a payout about the third or fourth, uh, fifth day of the month for the funds that come in as uh-huh. they clear. Um, yeah. So yeah, one of them things. And no, we're not going to do a strip show for five hundred dollars a month. <laughs> I the, thought that was the, kind of funny in the live chat. I was the, like, oh, the right. only the only strip show that we do we we actually do one anyways, and that's called the annual birthday bash power hour. And in that case, we only take off our shirts. So because of YouTube, I mean, guidelines. I mean, most of us only take off our shirts. You can only see that we take off our shirts now. I mean, we've had people on the show who were pantsless, and but you couldn't tell. Yeah, you couldn't tell. And I mean, we knew because you know it was found out after, after the, the fact. The, yeah, after the show stopped. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> are you trying to? Are you trying to give away a hit there, David? Or no. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Yeah. I mean, great. If you are a patron, you do get some extra content. Just saying. Well, and that's one of the things that we've been doing, just so that uh, folks are aware, is uh, the patrons actually get the full audio live show. Uh, and they get links to the full YouTube without, like, the pre-show, post-show. Um, stuff. So for folks that are not catching us live, then they get an edited version, like pretty much right where the theme music starts um, through. So like today is, a, is an excellent day of like the patrons are going to get a whole bunch of content. Um, mm-hmm. Talk for a whole bunch before we <laughs> get the show. One of them things. Stuff. 
Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> one person could dream. Uh, sorry, I was reading the live chat. So, yeah. Um, so, for the coming year, uh, by taking at the $2 level, we kind of shuffled around some of the prize stuff. So as I was saying, for the buddy level, you get listed in a bunch of places and you get like a sticker kind of deal from us. Then if you go to the Uber level, which is $5 per month, um, you will end up with all of those items plus a Cubs Out Loud t-shirt uh, once per year for that particular item. And then if you go up to the top tier that we've created, the Cubster level for $10, then you get... All of those items at the buddy level and the Uber levels, you get all the like recognition stuff. You also get the shirt and uh, at the cuffster level, you will get a $20 uh, thank you gift card from Zazzle.com on our behalf. So you could actually pick something that you would like uh, uh-huh. from the website from our merchandise campaign. So that's what we've done with that in that case. Yeah. So that's our changes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And as always, if you guys have any suggestions, uh, ideas, things that you want us to consider, you know, for just in general or for Patreon or whatever, let us know. Um, you know, it's a it's an ever evolving process. You know what we're putting together and establishing. Um, so that way, folks can you know. Yeah. be a part of the process as well and, and also yeah. to mention at least when we gave out the, the first shirt it was a special shirt it wasn't one of the ones you can find in the store true that's very true it was patron patreon exclusive uh it listed the titles of every single show we did in that entire first year uh so mm-hmm. That's an example of how like it's a unique item that uh doesn't go on <laughs> Sorry, I just read Birdie's suggestion in the live chat. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's I guess I saw that comment and that was well deserved. Should have should have known that was going to happen. Look, I'm sorry, we don't stream on Chatterbait, so as a as a show. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was revealing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the timing it was it just so so horrible. now everybody is trying to sleuth out what the username is of the profile of whichever hosts or host is on the chat <laughs> to find them uh-huh yeah i've been on chatterbaiting forever when you say been on like, like chatting like visiting and the website somebody. at all, or visiting the website and browsing around. It's okay, hard to find people I'm interested in on there. I'll just say that. Oh. I don't think there's a problem with that, but <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had any issue. I, I mean, will, I, I, think... I will say this there was a gentleman on last night that i was like this man it has so much self-control it is ridiculous <laughs> so also, just so you're aware just so you're aware like colers um cupsters whatever we have all pretty much admitted that we are all on chatterbait now 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 <laughs> We, we, we didn't we're, say we're not, neither we one of us said that chatter, we provide right? content, but we have all admitted, all admitted <laughs> that we are on Chatterbait. <laughs> just, just, just point out, y'all. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Um, shady bitch. Uh, so what was I just going to say? I completely forgot like where I was going with this. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, a uh, it's, it's, it's a good, interesting platform. What I find most enjoyable actually about it is the amount of guys that are into other guys who are not into guys. Mm-hmm. Like 
now more than ever, there is a large number or significant amount of men that are okay with other men watching them. But they like say flat out on their profile, like I'm straight, I'm into women, I don't care if guys watch, I don't care if you tip me, it's greatly appreciated. Like, but yeah. you know, sometimes it's all about that coin. Ain't ain't gonna ain't, ain't gonna meet up in real life. Don't no. ask. You yeah. know some of the general rules. Do. Don't be rude. Um, you yeah. know, and make requests or whatever. So you can just yeah. watch me enjoy myself. Pop, pop yeah, enjoy myself. Like there's a there are, there are a lot. Of like these, I have seen. So again, we're we're going off topic, but might as well. <laughs> Fuck it, I don't care. Um, <laughs> there have been a lot of like these straight, maybe pansexual men on the show, on Chatterbait that have like the love sense or hush, like, uh, um, um, like, um, interactive um, butt plugs interactive butt plugs in their in their butts uh-huh. playing with themselves and getting like you get like so for those that don't know so the husher it's either hush or love sense or there's like there are a couple of different couple names different brands. Brands that, um they're essentially um butt plugs that are connected to an app and people can and sometimes connected to like for some even connected to chatterbait where if you donate a certain amount of money for the tokens or whatever are you gain access to um you gain access to control the plug and depending on what the person has programmed or whatever determines how often it goes off or you donate a certain amount and it goes off for five ten seconds and they you get to see them kind of Respond Wiggle and rise and respond. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Some 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 models are smart and they do not do the donation level of a, a of a tokens or a tip to get control of their own device because some devices allow that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, via the app, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. But no, I agree with you, David. Like there are a lot of men out there who are getting in touch with their butt. And the pleasures that it can derive them, whether they are gay or not, or mm-hmm. in, or into like receiving anal penetration, I guess is a way to really reference it. Right. Because I see that there are more men now that are like, I don't mind playing with myself. I don't mind playing like with my with my butthole, and I don't mind like having a toy in me or a device. And I also find it interesting because there are some men out there that like have bought dildos and vibrators. And mm-hmm. as, you know, quote unquote models and are OK with like being on cam and like being told what to do or just mess it around. And, and not everyone on mm-hmm. there like takes tips or tokens. Like some guys are just on there to like get off and they don't care. Like mm-hmm. they, they might them. the exhibitions. Yes. But the but they also like notably enjoy like using a toy on themselves but mm-hmm. that's the limit. Like that's the line. Like they wouldn't actually like they answer because it comes up often in the live chat. You know, would you meet up with a guy? Would you let a guy blow you? Would you let a guy fuck you? Mm-hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Um, like, no, no, no. Right. No. And I find no. it interesting. Like some guys are pretty, you know, open. Some guys are like, and some guys, some straight guys, and I use straight as air quotes because they list themselves as straight or heterosexual, but they say in their profile like, getting head from a, from a guy is cool. Like, but that's the end of mm-hmm. it. Like, you know, so yeah. So, uh, wow, we totally got off topic and turned this into a chat. Totally did, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. We'll go back. We'll go back. Backing, hey, what you did, Jeff? We're backing. So. We're backing. We're backing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I've got nothing to do with this. <laughs> I, I'm just letting you guys go. <laughs> I'm just so enjoying the show, up. I suppose. I don't know. So I would say, like, one of the reasons why I like that particular platform, just to put an end cap on it, is like, there's a, a wide variance of models on there uh, in terms of, like, age and size and stuff like that. So um, there's never not some somebody to watch whether or not it is necessarily your cup of tea is another thing. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but yeah, so we're just making some updates, uh, changes to Patreon. Um, sorry, I got Lloyd in the live chat, put up a new post. Ah, 
Uh, I don't disagree. Mm-hmm. So Lloyd says, like, uh, I think the new millennium people are starting to think about just how loose the stigma, uh, oh, how to lose the stigma of heteronormativity. Uh, they are allowed to start exploring without feeling ashamed, and it's brill. Um, no, I don't disagree. Like, I think younger generations are like, and especially because of the things that are happening in the world, um, politically, culturally, um, with the access to so much information on the internet, uh, whether it be true or not, so their issue. Um, I think that like, there's just been a large expansion in terms of like awareness and uh, personal education. And, you know, with things like the It Gets Better campaign, just as one example of how, like, individuals are learning, like, what your experience is in this moment is temporary, and you can change that. And you don't have to live in that, whatever that thing is. So, that being said, I think that a lot more people are being much more comfortable about possibilities, as opposed to some doctrine or uh, way, necessarily, that they were raised. And... For quite a while, I think that, like, um, this is the only way I can phrase it. I think, like, kind of the scientific method has been applied in some ways, Mm -hmm. like, on a personal level, that people realize, like, oh, I see these people doing this thing, and, like, they're fine. Do you know what I mean? Like, nothing's happened to them. Mm -hmm. You know, they're still able to function in society. They have jobs. They have happy lives. You know what I mean? Um, Yeah. So I think the threats of like a damned existence is diminished because you don't yeah. see that being played out. You see people, you know, getting married, having children, having, you know, families, being able to do things and, you know, be a functional member of society without that, you know, being an issue. Um, so, yeah, I think that that's a, another piece of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And Patreon. Yeah. I think we can get pretty philosophical much discussions. That. You would get philosophical discussions like what Gary just provided um, through our through Cups Out Loud, and you can help support us by by donating through Patreon. There, brought it back. There we go. We're good. Patreon.com go. slash Cups Out Loud. Yeah. So those uh, changes in the categories and the rewards and that will be happening uh, right after this show um, when we get in there and, and make those changes. But we wanted to at least do the show first so that people knew like that was a change that's coming. Uh, and the current mm-hmm. patrons really will not be uh, affected by it. So, mm-hmm. But we're going to make the, the changes to stuff. And we hope uh, that you can join us and become patrons of the show um, for a little or a lot. Uh, also we greatly appreciate all of it. Yeah, and through pa- uh, through Patreon, you can also message us directly through there. Uh, so that's uh, another way of contacting us directly. But we have plenty of ways to mm-hmm. contact us. Hey, that sounds like the end of the show, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> a couple of those ways are going to our website, CubsOutLoud.com. Uh, shoot us an email at cupsoutloud at gmail.com. Leave us a voicemail, six or otherwise, at 361 we'll talk. That's 361-265-8255. Uh, you can follow us on various social media outlets at Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and, of course, on YouTube. You can join our Entourage shop where you can get notifications that the show's going live, which is one that we we, uh, so, uh, we use that, as well as other people chatting about various things, uh, and not just specifically about the show. Mm-hmm. You can also subscribe to our Google Calendar at uh, tinyurl.com slash calendar dash col. You can support us uh, by going by buying some merchandise such as Cubs Out Loud t-shirts, sweatshirts, other accoutrement that like Gary and I are wearing um, at zazzle.insert uh, a top level domain of your country uh, uh, equivalent of com. So like .co.uk.com.au, I think it is, .de. Uh, that's all the ones that I can think of. But <laughs> Or just go to zazzle.com slash Cubs Out Loud and scroll down to the bottom and where it should give you an option to switch your localization. That allows you to purchase in your country. And it will give you prices in your country's uh, uh, 
currency um, so you can uh, uh, better better get it because it's on demand it is a little bit more expensive uh, than some other places that like just like buy a bunch of the product and then sell them until they're sold out which usually ends mm-hmm. up being a little bit cheaper but this is on demand that's why everything is a little bit more expensive yeah uh, so because um, we don't really have a way of like just buying a bunch of stuff so mm-hmm. uh you can't as we've been talking about this entire show uh you could support us on patreon at patreon.com slash cubs out loud and now if you want to give a one-time donation paypal.me slash cubs out loud here you go you can uh rate us on apple podcast subscribe to us google play podcast and spotify you can find me anywhere in the internet says box step box puppy box cub box something or other uh, if you wish to find me on most bear-related sites, not Chatterbait, you can find me as Theater Cub Seven Nine, or you can reach me on um, <laughs> shit Twitter as Pop <laughs> underscore Umbra. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> if you would like to get in touch with me on where online, I'm pretty much known as Gear Bear Seventy Three. <clears throat> and with that. Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. You okay over there, David? I'm fine. <laughs> you got to cut a little I, off guard by that or something? I caught myself off guard with the whole, like, trying to, like, I wanted to make sure people knew, like, I am not Theater Cup 79 on Chatterbait. Oh, I, I kind of figured that, like, I wasn't going to say something during the, like, <laughs> during the actual show, but it made me laugh because I was like, I was like, hmm, I'm pretty sure he was, he was not going to go by <laughs> that name on the air. So people are not going to be able to find you that way. Mm-hmm. Sorry, folks. Sorry, y'all. And, and, and for those listening to the post show, you can see these two chuckleheads uh, every Thursday, too. So you get to oh, see that's these right. uh twice a week. Well, yeah. Not, not every, every week. yeah, not every Thursday because we get we're gonna stuff going we're, on. we're gonna change it up a little bit. So um, we're weeks. gonna try to yeah, every two weeks, um, two weeks for the next one, and then three weeks after that because there's this little thing that Gary's doing, this like small like small little thing called a bear run that he's running. Is it, is it something to do with a water park or something? Yeah, something. I like guess a, you know. it's a it's it's a like a wet fur or something like that. Yeah, yeah, something. something. Wet <laughs> fur, <laughs> wet hair, wet hair. You know, oh, whatever. Yeah, I don't remember. Y'all, anyway. y'all yeah, being as bad as the general public about that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the the so because of that, we're and. I mean, this is the same weekend as the Men's Cross Concerts anyway, so I wouldn't have been available either. Right. Um, so we just decided we're just going to jump around a little bit. and You know, so you need to be- tell, you need to, like, get together with your uh, 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 Men's Chorus leadership and be like, hey, you guys keep having concerts on the same weekend as Drenched for what are you <laughs> doing? Because <laughs> I've been doing okay. a podcast with this guy for I don't remember how long and so I haven't been able to go to to his bear run in that entire time I I just need it to be like 
the weekend before or the weekend after, uh, just not the same weekend, uh, so that I can go and participate in this event. I, I wish to God, like, honestly, like, that it could somehow work out. You don't know how many years, because um, it's always, like, December... Sometimes it's it's Midwest with like it falling on the same weekend, and then in, in the spring it's usually, later. and it's just like I don't have any. Although I'm I'm part of the board and I'm part of the staff that like helps, I don't I don't get to pick the dates. That's a, there's a lot of things that go on with picking the fucking dates, and um, as I'm yeah, sure Gary can like, tell you about like booking venues and such like that. Yeah. It's mm. like whether venues are available and can you, can you, how much does it cost? And I know, I'm just making uh, it funny. Whenever, yeah, <laughs> I know. And it's just, it's been, it's one of those things where every year almost it's like been, okay, here we go. Here we go. What's going to happen? Oh, it's in April. Oh, well, there goes that. Our, I mean, and I've, I've thought about it too, just like taking some time off because I, do sing a lot and um it can be fun rest for a while chords a little uh, while yeah do a little rest and do some things like and go to a run that i've been wanting to go to for several years so but we'll see maybe i always say maybe next year that it doesn't happen <laughs> mm-hmm. well at least you say maybe next year which doesn't really provide any commitment yeah. But you'll, you keep it in mind. Like, honestly, I, I had actually thought about reaching out to you, Gary, at the end of last year. Like, do you need help? Do you need assistance with this run? Because if I if I, I didn't know when it was, I hadn't looked out into the future to figure out when the dates were to line, because this would have really been a bad thing if I said, Gary, can I help you? And then I'd be like, um, Gary, actually, never I mind. <laughs> Never mind. He said, I'm just going to go sing <laughs> for one day. Two days. We do two concerts. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we rehearse, like, literally the, the so, folks, Drinks Fur, the days that Drinks Fur is happening is when we have our dress rehearsal, our tech rehearsal, that's Thursday, Friday, and then our show. Two shows. It's all on the same, like, timeline. So those evenings and then the days. So... Yeah, fun, fun, fun. But it, it's every every time I think about it, I go, "Oh, that might work." And then, oh, never mind, I can't do it because men's chorus. Our, I mean, it's usually men's chorus. Yeah, as I said, it always seems to be the men's chorus. <sighs> yep. That same wow. men's chorus. Oh, you know, the thing I've been in for um, 15 plus years, but, you know, it's a silly little thing. Yeah. I mean, why would you want to provide commitment to something that you've committed to for such a long time? Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, what about you? 